natural disasters. It can happen to anybody, and when natural disasters happen, it can oftentimes leave you without clean, drinkable water. And we all know how serious of a problem that can be. Obviously, the best the best option that you have is to boil whatever water you can scavenge. So from the streams, creeks, or whatever, as long as it's not polluted by, you know, chemicals. Chemical pollution is one of the things that um, all most of the methods I've talked about will not clear up. Now, any kind of natural biological thing, most of these methods will take care of. Fortunately, there's a chemical in most of our cabinets and our medical kits that can make water for the most part safe to drink. Now these methods will not take care of cryptosporidium and some other protozoan type parasites and cysts, that sort of thing, but it will take care of bacteria and virus. Povidone iodine can be used as can tincture of iodine and some other iodine similar chemicals. So I've got here a syringe full of bleach. I didn't want to bring the whole jug with me. Um, if you're wondering why I have a syringe, this is actually for um, sodium chloride injections. Um, we actually use them as washes and rinses for our wound, you know, when we get cuts or scrapes or whatever. It's a good way to wash off the wound because it's clean, sanitized water. And I've got some povidone iodine here. So the way that you use these two chemicals is very similar. Both of them require you putting a certain amount of drops into your a lot the quantity of water, be it a liter, a gallon, or whatever. Now, iodine, you're going to want to use four drops approximately per liter of water, or upwards of um, eight to twelve drops per gallon of water. And then you're going to mix it up, and you're going to stir it up, and you're going to let it sit. And you're going to let it sit for 30 minutes to an hour. If you can afford to wait an hour, that is better because that it's going to sanitize the water. Uh, much more. Bleach, on the other hand, is similar, except you don't need to use quite as much. You can use two to three drops per liter of water and around eight per gallon. Now, the um, quantity of bleach is going to vary a little bit. So in the instance, if, it, if you look on the label, it'll tell you what the percentage of sodium hypochlorite is. More sodium hypochlorite, you're going to use less. Less sodium hypochlorite, you're going to use more. It's pretty simple, and it's only like a drop or two's difference. Now, if the water's mucky and cold, you're going to want to use a little bit more of the chemical, and you're going to want to let it sit for longer. Generally speaking, an hour is safe, no matter what, as long as it's not frozen. So with that said, guys, it's really easy. You know, make sure that you use the right, right quantities. Um, one of the biggest things I really want to emphasize on, this is not a long-term solution. This is an emergency only. This is not something you should be consuming it daily for you know, weeks, months, whatever. Uh, like I said, boiling is your number one, and modern filtration is your second. This should be one of the last things you uh, consider, but it's an option. So with that said, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. If you haven't already, hit that bell icon down below. You get notified every time that I upload a new video. Uh, I really appreciate the support. Thank you guys, and I'll see you next time.